Our ancestors were master scientists. They, they knew every the name of every plant in their environment. They knew the name of every uh, body of water, and they knew all this. They knew all the stars, you know. They knew the constellations. They knew when to plant, and it's because their very lives depended on it. And our current way of life, when we have a Walmart just down the street or a Speedway, on every corner, we've kind of lost connection with how important it is to grow our own food, and and it and not being able to grow our own food affects us on many levels, a spiritual level and a physical level due to the rising rate of obesity and type two diabetes. So that, that's just some of, the, some of the layers not being connected with our traditional diet is affecting us. Uh, my name's Randolph Scott, Randy Scott. My pronouns are he, they, that f-er. Yeah, I just grew up on a cattle farm. You know, we grew up uh, feeding cows, branding cows, roping them you know stuff like that and that's kind of where I grew into like this I guess it's a hate relationship with bovine because I don't I don't eat cow meat I don't eat cow products I don't even like dealing with cows but yeah I grew up on a cattle farm so it's just it's like where my first experience into animals came from my auntie she she gave me a, a like a pack of blue corn and she was saying Wherever you plant this, you'll find people who will become your friends and who will become your family. And that was true. Anywhere you plant, you'll find like-minded people and people who have similar, uh, a similar view on life and a similar, who, who like to do similar things. Agriculture is one of those fields that transcends all barriers and because everyone has to eat. My motivation is just to like, you know, hopefully, teach youth, especially our native youth, and like, we're not all this trauma, you know? <laughs> we're not this intergenerational shit that's been, you know, forced on us. We're, we're loving people, we're not broken. <laughs> that's kind of what keeps me going, you know? Like, whatever I get to see, like, a little kid and their dad smiling because, you know, we made this interaction happen and no one's crying and no one's getting scolded. And it's just like, yeah, this is, this is who we are, you know? That's the motivation I get, you know? Feeding people, being able to share all this food that we're doing right now with the, everyone, you know, that's the motivation. Being able to feed my grandma is another motivation for me as well, you know? Yeah, my motivation was that when I got to school, I wanted to be like a, study soil science and all this and but then I saw that uh, another impediment to Navajo people was we're losing our connection with growing things with agriculture and this is a, just a regional um, problem it's in that na national international people are losing touch with how they grow their own food and if we lose contact with growing corn and collecting corn pollen we won't be able to pray in the morning and talk with the Dien Dene, with the holy people. My audience is native folks, you know, like I, I try not to sit in white spaces. I try not to, it's really cool because it comes to my IG, you know, you can pick who follows you. You can pick who you follow. So I've been like, lately I've been just, you know, getting rid of all the whiteness on my IG. And so yeah, my audience is definitely the native folks, you know, like that's who I try to open up this space for. I like. I make these things predominantly Ibok sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, just for us, you know, because you can't be who we are when there's white people around, you know? Like, me for a small part, sharing that knowledge, and as well as sharing mod modern agricultural techniques such as controlled environment systems is, is one way we can help adapt to the, the changing conditions. and. As indigenous people and as their people, that's one of our key characteristics is being able to adapt. And if we, didn't, if we weren't able to adapt, we still wouldn't be around today. And we, we are, and, that's, and the food and our way of life is testament to that.